Hi Pisces, welcome to your August readings. As always, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate with your own life experiences at this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Pisces, I feel that August can be a very interesting month in terms of I feel that there's something that is being reset in your life, something that is being reorganized at a at, at the grand scale um, energy where there's a chain of events. It's like the butterfly effect, I feel, that, that the, the universe is trying to, to put you into places and directions so that you can pay attention to how everything is definitely definitively connected with a higher order and a higher sense. And for you in particular, I feel that this is about finding back happiness and finding back a sense of a joy, a joy in life, joy in everything that surrounds you from your own interpersonal relationships and desires, your individual individualistic desires, as to the global um, desires and longings and inspirations that you do have for the world. So I feel that, first of all, August can be a very positive month in terms of self-fulfillment, in terms of enjoyable moments, out there. I feel that you should put yourself into motion. You should go out. You should go you should go to places and 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 um and do not dismiss the importance of any type of situation that is calling you your presence. And if you really tap into your sense of intuitive understanding, you will understand that um you will re I feel that you will recognize immediately when something is happening in August and overall of importance for that butterfly effect and that chain of events, I feel that you will immediately feel it and you will immediately recognize that there's something that it seems to be putting you in the right path towards achieve achieving happiness, success, and finding back a warm feeling in your life. This could be specially related with um, family, with uh, love, with friendships, and even taking something of your of your social sphere, your groups. I feel that overall as well, overall over this time that I have been reading, Pisces have been growing through a lot through social. Um, social networking and social affairs and connecting with people and getting out of their shells and trying new things and just this inter exchange of experiences heightens I believe in this time a sense of family of tribe of community that goes way beyond just the usual concept of family and, and friends and I feel that in particular in uh, August there's something quite quite beautiful here being put set in motion for you in terms of fulfillment and in terms of getting to the realization of something that you have been trying so hard to get that picture of happy ending that picture of the happy family and whichever that means to you you have an opportunity to reach it now in um, in August there could be a special importance in terms of if you do have children, the moments you spend with that children, feeling much more connected, much more patient, much much more um, giving of your expression and affection towards them, or they can help you as well get in contact with your own inner child because that it's something as well that it's being developed, your essence, your shine, your radiance overall in the summer is really being put out there. For you and others to notice, for you to recognize that you are entitled for you are entitled for happiness, 
you are entitled for good times in your life and for moments of joy and accomplishment and that it is possible to attain that accomplishment and I feel you are ac accomplishing a certain level of happiness in whichever way and form in August I really do and it's a chain of events so it's something that is continuously connected with something of the past that right now it's going to be it's like you're receiving pieces of the puzzle and you, you may receive a, a piece of the puzzle that gives you a sense of finally understanding maybe the picture that lies in front of you and maybe why certain things needed to happen the way they did in terms of you getting to the place of wish fulfillment and understanding what makes you happy, what you deserve, what you want out of yourself and maybe not become as dependent on fantasies and illusions as you uh, would before. The only challenge I see here is you are still prone to be blinded to this light sometimes or you may still feel very trapped in one place um, which may make you not move and not go in the different flow of energies that are calling to you. You may be putting yourself uh, too much on the fence about going out with friends, about going to parties, about celebrating, about having moments of um, socializing, of a more of a light energy because you are very trapped in the sense of I'm stuck somewhere and I, I don't know how to get out of here. You may as well feel that you are not able to socialize as freely and as lightly as before. This is why you're being called to get out of your shell and enjoy the sun and the sunny side of life is waiting for you. So everything that puts you out there is very beneficial for you in August because there's something that you are supposed to or somewhere or someone that you're supposed to connect with to give you an important insight, an important bit of information that was lacking before in terms of understanding happiness, I believe, and fulfillment. And that just because you don't have everything at this time that you would want, maybe you are getting exactly everything that you need. And for that reason, for that own unique reason, it's special and good enough and very positive enough. I think I think that as well it's about if you return to your essence, if you return to your feelings, if you return to your emotional understanding of the whole, if you get out of your mind, you will understand that everything is as is supposed. Everything shines and vibrates in radiance at this time. And it's a matter of perspective. Where is your perspective? Where is your ability to release yourself from that own syndrome of being a trapped bird or a caged bird into situations that do not allow you the breath and do not allow you that sense of contentment with whichever you're trying to attain? I really feel that you have some good positive moments to come that into which you may dismiss, to which you may avoid, to which you may be tempted to um, to deny to yourself as a punishment or as um, a real sense of becoming defined by some grief or some sadness that you are holding. Please do not do that because there's very positive things here. I also believe that you have in you you have been trying to work on yourself a lot, so don't give up right now. I think that you're trying to invest more and more and more and more and more in your, in, on yourself, on what you want to attain in your future, your goals, your creativity, your desires, your lust for life. And that self-improvement, that work, will care, carry uh, valuable assets to you and will carry some level of success and recognition. But do you recognize your own light? That's the overall the biggest question for you in August. Do you recognize your light? Do you recognize your specialness, your uniqueness, your vibration? If you do, I really feel that August will shine to you the brightest, but will be one of the most positive months of the whole year. 
So I hope you have a great one. Thank you so much for all of you who have been liking, sharing and commenting. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.